Neither Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid can shoot it deep. I know how that goes. Look, it's well documented that neither Ben Simmons or Joel Embiid go deep. With the hiring of Daryl Morey, former GM of the Rockets, his whole shtick was going deep. After crushing all the numbers and realizing that three-pointers score three points and two-pointers score two. So if this pairing isn't meant for long, and let's say you're able to get more for Ben Simmons than Joel Embiid, why wouldn't the 76ers do these trades? Hola amigos, welcome to Takes in Fuego. Today we dust off the trade machine and explore the most realistic Ben Simmons trades that would shake up the entire NBA. Daryl Morey put an emphasis on three-point shooting more than everyone else to the point where he had a six foot five inch center playing for him. And this 76ers team, I mean they have Tobias, Richardson, or Horford, they're fine, but they're definitely not the best three-point shooting team by any stretch. But more than that, the one consistent of any Daryl Morey put together team has been having two stars. He was general manager of the Houston Rockets from 2007 until 2020. During that time, he entered with Tracy McGrady and Yao Ming on the roster when he entered. Two stars. With them in their downfall of their career beginning in the 2008-2009 season, they go through some transition years with Kyle Lowry and Kevin Martin. During the 2012 season, they trade for James Harden. Then the 2013 offseason, he signs Dwight Howard back when Dwight Howard was still much closer to Orlando Dwight Howard than Washington Dwight Howard. He was still an all-star when he was on the Rockets. Two stars. Dwight leaves in the 2016 offseason. Then in the 2017 season, the Rockets trade for Chris Paul to go along with James Harden. Two stars. Then one of these stars is swapped for Russell Westbrook. Two stars still. The reason I bring this up is because I see a lot of trades out there that liquidate Simmons for future assets or multiple other players like Drew Holiday and JJ Redick. I just don't think that Maury is wired like that. I think he wants two guys that are thought to be in the top 15 to 20 players in the league and that's what he has in Philly currently. And you should want that. Those are almost always the teams that go deep in the playoffs. Steph and Clay, LeBron and Anthony Davis, J Button and Bam, Kawhi and Kyle Lowry, LeBron and himself, am I right guys? These are always the teams that go deep. What Daryl Morey also loved in his time in Houston was trades. In 13 NBA seasons with the Rockets, he made 77 trades. This is nearly 6 trades a year, so expect some movement somewhere in Philadelphia coming soon. If he's going to break up the Ben Simmons Joel Embiid combination, I think he'd have to get another star in return, which makes these trades very fun. We can start out and cross James Harden off the list, reportedly. It's been reported that Houston is not at all thinking about trading him to Philly and their former GM. But what other stars are potentially on the market and will make sense for Joel Embiid and the Philadelphia 76ers? How about Paul George? Look, he had a terrible outing in a number of games in the 2020 playoffs, but he finished third in MVP voting in 2019. There is an incredible player in there, and the spacing that would be on that offense now, Paul George shot 41% from 3 last year, he would enter as the best shooter on the team and a good secondary offensive option as Embiid is allowed to dominate in the 10 feet in area and hopefully will stop taking those 28 footers. As for Los Angeles, Kawhi has already requested to management that they find a true point guard to set up that offense. What they have right now is a true point guard to insult the defense. Not quite the same thing. Another star rumored to be on the move already is Bradley Beal. And this is a trade Wizards fans wouldn't even be that upset about. You have the floor spaced in Philadelphia. You have perhaps a more efficient offense based on this fact. And you have Beal who can certainly still function great as a secondary offensive option. As we just saw him function great as a primary one. In Washington, we have what NBA fans in general would like to see, and that's Ben Simmons with his own team. What would probably be best for him is to take the Milwaukee Bucks approach where you have Giannis getting to the rim and you have shooters spaced all over the place around him. And being he is one of the league's elite defenders, he's certainly a player who still continues to improve and is a star you can build your franchise around. How about reuniting Daryl Morey with one of his old flames, Chris Paul? Chris Paul is still one of the best players in the league and there is reason to believe this team will be immediately better with him on the roster. Because this Philadelphia roster is better than the Oklahoma City roster from last year and despite that, the Oklahoma City team was better than the Philadelphia team last year at least. 
you would swap out one of the best play creators in the league for the best floor general in the league with Chris Paul. And I think they would actually be contender for a title next year with him on the team. Then in OKC, we have a similar situation as the Washington situation we talked about, but even better. They have more assets to build with thanks to the 39 upcoming draft picks. OK, it's not actually 39, but they have multiple first round picks five of the next seven years. And they have three first rounders three of the next seven years. There will be plenty of opportunities to acquire solid pieces around Ben Simmons with all of those assets. Another star that may demand a trade himself, as he has been on the outside looking in and may be unhappy with his current team situation, is Devin Booker. And from what we saw from Bubble Booker, he may have just made a leap in skill and could make the 76ers actual contenders as well. He too has the ability to space around Embiid and could take over a lot of the ball handling that will be needed when Ben Simmons is off the team. Over in Phoenix, they actually have some solid pieces over there as well. For example, the prettiest man in the NBA, Kelly Oubre, is good now? Question mark. And DeAndre Ayton is nearly a 20 and 10 guy already, two years into his career. That would be another fun spot for Ben Simmons. What do you think? Did the 76ers pull the trigger with any of these trades? Let me know in the comments and be sure to subscribe for more Trade Machine Witchcraft.